Hey guys, how? Hey guys, it's Richard Butler from Internet Business Demystified, and I want to ask you a question today. Do you want to create better videos quicker and reduce editing time? Well, I think I have a solution for you. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, so I have this challenge that when I create videos, I have to spend quite some time editing, putting in what we call lower thirds. Uh, maybe doing some chroma key effects, which is getting rid of the background. So I have a virtual background like I have at the moment, and it takes a lot of time. And then I discovered this program called ManyCam, which allows you to do a lot of effects on the fly, which reduces your editing time. So ManyCam, which I'm gonna talk about today, is like a mini video studio that allows you to switch scenes very easy. So for example, if I want to say, well, Guys, now I want to go over to the classroom. I just press a button on my screen and I go over and it transitions over to that. Or I might say, well, let's talk about this PDF. I bring up the PDF here and suddenly I'm reduced to the corner here, which is really good. And then I say, well, let's go back to the office. And that actually just does it automatically for me. Obviously I had to set all of this up. But I'm recording this review using ManyCam, and I have to say, it really is helping me um, create videos a lot quicker and edit less. So what exactly is ManyCam? Well, it's used for broadcasting, for doing live streams, because it allows you to switch between scene very, very quickly and without having to uh, do another screen share and then stop one screen share and then start another. I can have all that pre-set up and then just by pressing a button which says trans, I can actually just transition into that scene, into this scene, you see I'm just looking down to make sure I press the right buttons, and then into this scene here. And none of that has been edited by me in post-production. All of this has been recorded. I've just edited, if I hear a bit of noise outside, I will just cut out that bit. Um, but I haven't actually done any editing to get all these transitions. Now, what I have found ManyCam great for is doing videos, having my virtual background like I have here, and then being able to do videos and switch. So this is a video I recorded this morning that I set up for some English classes that uh, I'm putting online as a course. And I just say, okay, let's go over to the PDF now. And then I actually transition back out to the classroom and now I go back to the office. Now, at this point, what I'm going to say to you is, well, I really do think that this is worth picking up and you'll see that there's a link in the description. Now that lower third, I already set up and all I'm doing is just pressing a button on the screen to get that to come up. Normally what I would have done up to this point is I would have said, hey guys, there's a link in the description and then I would have to go into post-production and put in that lower third. Here, I can just press the button and it comes up like that. And by the way, there is a link in the description in case you're interested. So let's just take a look at the interface of ManyCam. And this is gonna be a little bit difficult because it's ManyCam showing ManyCam and recording ManyCam screen. So if I just transition here, well, I go into the corner and see the way now I'm on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side in the other video. So this is your main menu here. And starting up at the top, you have presets. So when I have set up my screen the way I want it, I can save the preset here. And then when I want to go in, and I'm not going to do it because it'll change everything. When I want to go into that preset of maybe me in the left-hand side um, and full screen of something in the background, I would just select that preset here. Now at the moment I'm running preset four, but I do have other presets here that I can actually use. So initially it takes some time just to set up what you want in ManyCam. And then once you set it up, it works perfectly. Here is the first challenge that I found with ManyCam, and that is with the audio settings. So when you install it out of the box and start recording, what you will find is that the voice and your lips moving sometimes don't sync. So you're talking like that, and then you see the lips moving. So it looks like one of these really bad dubbed Kung Fu movies. Um, but that is easily sorted out with a little bit of playing around. It does take time and it, um, they've done updates, so it's working a lot better. But what I do here is I just go down and I put a sync offset of 560. 
So it shouldn't be that noticeable, but you need to play around with that a little bit. This is the mic I have set up. It's a Tula mobile microphone, um, but I could set up different microphones as well. This is for global sound, preset, uh, playback. If I want to listen to what's coming out of my microphone, I can actually do that. I could actually set up a playlist here as well so that um, if I want to give people time just to go through an exercise, I would just play some music while they're doing that. Now, normally, again, you'd have to do that in post editing. But here, what I can do is I can say, OK, guys, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to actually just finish this exercise. And I put on a bit of music there. Now, talking about that, uh, let me jump over to the time here, because what I can actually do is I can set a countdown timer. So here I'm just going to put the countdown timer in. I'll move it down here. Uh, I could change the colors over here. And then I can actually just set that to start playing. And that counts down. So example, I'm doing a review and I say, you can uh, create this web page in two minutes. And I put the timer on like that. And I can stop the timer. I can reset the timer. I could change the amount of time. Uh, I could decide, well, I'm gonna put this stopwatch on. So guys, let's see who comes up with the first answer. Go. Okay, that comes up and then I stop it. Okay, well done guys, uh, three seconds. And I can turn each one of those off here. Now I also have the ability to draw. I haven't really used this because honestly I haven't used even probably 20% of the potential of Manicam because what I need to do is done so easily that I haven't played with the other features. But I could go in here and I could decide I want to draw something. And I could say draw, and then if I come out here, uh, I should be able to draw on the screen. I, of course, I don't have the proper color set up, so let me just try green there. And that should draw on the screen for me. Okay, now, as I said, I haven't played with that, so I'm not actually sure what I am actually doing here. Maybe I have to select a brush. Yeah, there we go, I had to select a brush. So I could actually do a virtual whiteboard there. I'll just cancel that out. I can type in some text. Uh, so this is some text. And I could say that I want it scrolling left to right. And if I just go there, what should happen is that that text should scroll there from left to right. So you need to play around with Manicam, but there's a lot that I can do. But hold on, we're not even we're not even there yet. Virtual backgrounds is something that I love. Now, I actually have a green screen, um, but what I could do is if I go virtual background, uh, that's on blur. So if I wanted to blur the actual screen there, I could replace that. I could use chroma key, which would be that uh, with my green screen, I could actually just put anything in. And that's how I did my little self here that I put in a feed for my camera with an actual green screen there. But just let me turn that off for a second. Now, then I have my lower thirds here, which you can see. So if I want, this is one that comes with uh, Manicam there. I can say, okay, Manicam, the best free live studio and webcam effects software. Now I can add more lower thirds if I want. And I have the option, different options here. They're, they're quite basic to be honest, but for something to do quickly, just like that on the fly, it's really, really good and really useful. So let me just go in here with effects. Uh, there's lots of things, I as I said, I haven't even played with this. So let me just see if I go into effects. Okay, I'd have to add an image there. Uh, ah, lower thirds, I can get more. And what that's probably gonna do is that's going to just download from the web. So again, if I want more effects, I can do that. Uh, face masks, okay, you need to download a detection uh, module, okay, but I could actually do that as well. So that's kind of like um, uh, Snapchat effects. This is your gallery where all of your uh, recordings are actually stored. And then finally, I have favorites. If I want to just save things in here, I can put them in my favorites. If I go into settings here, uh, you should be able to see, do you see the settings? I'm not sure actually if you see the settings because I don't think I'm sharing that screen. But there are various settings that you can actually go in and you can play around with. 
Uh, let me just go back here. So now that I've sort of finished that section, I want to just go back and I want to talk to you about more things you can do with Manicamp. Now, normally, if I wanted to do something like that, to put myself down at the corner and then to bring myself back up to full screen, that takes a lot of editing to do. Now, I say a lot. It's more time consuming than difficult, but it takes a lot. Now, if I wanted, let me just uh, go back here. What I could do here is I can just uh, right click. You won't be able to see it, but I can right click and you just see a small menu here. I can actually say, well, what I now want to do here is I want to show uh, an area of uh, an app or I want a custom area or I want to capture the cursor. What is what well, the best thing to do is first to add a new layer. So I put a new layer in here. You'll see it uh, when I'm recording there. And then I click on add and from here I can decide what I want to put in here. So I might want to say uh, I want a feed from my mobile or I want another picture of myself coming up here. Now, here's an example. This is the same image here, but this is on green screen. So what I would do is I would go to virtual background and then I would turn on virtual background and I can go replace. If I don't have a green screen, I can just use it like in zoom I can replace there I can try transparency you don't even need a green screen but if I just want to get rid of that sort of green look about myself I go to chroma key and what I find best is you either do auto or if auto doesn't work you just go to color picker and that's it so you can see you can see if I bend down there see the way that's that's gone a bit brown so what I would have to do there is I would have to go to color picker and then you just keep picking out the colors like that and then it just is a little bit better now this in itself takes a little bit of time because you can see there's a lot of green there um, that does take a little bit of time just to get used to so overall i have to say if you want to create videos which you should be doing um, if you want to you know look a little bit more professional and not spend so much time editing then I think Manicam is definitely worth picking up because it's just, it's quite easy to use. It takes a little bit of time. You will need to actually just spend a little bit of time, but I really do think it's, uh, it's good. Now guys, if you liked this video, make sure that you actually uh, visit my website, uh, Internet Business Demystified. Make sure that you give me a like, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you want to pick up Manicam, I believe there's a sale until May 31st. You can just use my link below. All right, I'm going to go off and I'm going to just do a couple of edits because I made one or two mistakes on this. And uh, that's it. All right, talk to you very soon.